Hey guys, the objective for this video is to discuss lift force and the lift coefficient. So lift force, force, well, it's just the force that acts perpendicular to the direction of flow. Uh, it's made up, just like our drag force was, um, a friction component and a pressure force component. Um, so our lift force is essentially equal to the integral of our drag force uh, with respect in the, in the y direction. And that's going to be equal to minus the integral of P sine theta dA um, plus the integral of our wall shear stress times cos theta dA. So essentially we're taking the integral of our pressure um, over the area and our wall shear stress over the area. Um, and our lift coefficient, uh, Cl, is equal to our lift uh, divided by half uh, density times uh, the fluid velocity squared times area. So the formulas themselves are really quite similar to the drag force. Uh, just be careful to note this uh, negative here. And notice that um, in our drag force formula, this sine theta was a cos theta. And in our drag force formula, this cos theta was a sine theta. So they've now swapped around. So if we draw up a little diagram here. So if we've got a body uh, inclinated at th uh, theta degrees, we've got a fluid coming in this way from the horizontal. So if we can imagine that velocity hitting here, 